Hello and welcome to Lesson 7. In Lesson 7 we are going to collect information from the user uh, to give us a value for a variable, but this time it's going to be a number. And numbers are different because we can do maths with numbers. So let's have a quick look at where we are. Um, I'll just... Um, there we go, that just makes that a little bit easier to read. So, on the first line, text window, right line, open inverted commas, how old are you? So if I run that code, all it's going to do is print that on the screen. How old are you? Fine. But I need to collect that information. So I'm going to say that the variable age equals, now this is very similar to what we did in the last lesson, text window, but instead of just saying read, we're going to read number. And now we're going to feed that back to the user. So text window, right line, brackets, but instead of putting it in inverted commas, we're just putting age. And then it will just take the number from the variable. So because you've put a number in here, so it's going to spit a number out there. So I'll run this program and show you what that means. So how old are you? 46. And it just reproduced 46. Okay, so that's the program. We've collected a number, but now it's your time to code. So I want to tell you what it is that I want you to do. I want you to build on this program here, but I want you to ask me a second question. What I want you to ask me is, what is my street number? And then I want you to repeat that back to me in the program. Um, you might like to copy and paste that working code there to base this on but you will need to rename the variable because you can't use age for both of those things because um, once you've stored a value against it, if you store it a second time, it'll just write over it. So you're going to need to have a second variable. But to complete this lesson, you're going to ask, how old are you? And then you're going to ask, what is your street number? And then you're going to say back to the user, your street number is, and give them that number back to them. So I'll let you get to your coding and there'll be a second file if you need it.